minute. With cold weather continuing into this weekend and beyond, some folks may be itching to get out on the ice. But even though we've seen an extended period of sub-zero temperatures, ice is never 100% safe. KGTC meteorologist Sarah Gannon joins us live in the studio with tips on how to stay safe on the ice during this cold weekend. Sarah. Well, Caitlin, with afternoon highs not expected to rise above zero degrees this weekend, it will be pretty cold out pretty cold out if you decide to hit the ice. And as you said, ice is never 100% safe. In fact, ice rarely freezes uniformly, meaning the ice thickness can be 12 inches thick in one location and only two inches thick in another spot. The Minnesota Department of Natural Resources says for new clear ice, you need at least four inches of ice to be able to walk on it or ice fish and double that amount for white ice. We happened to find Rochester resident Philip Schreiner out ice fishing on Foster Aaron Lake this afternoon. He's been ice fishing for more than 50 years and shared a few tips. Biggest thing for ice fishing is you say know your body of water. If particularly early ice, if you're not 100% sure, make sure you got some ice picks with you wear around your neck. If you go through, you can get a hold of the ice, pull yourself up, uh, and make sure somebody knows that you're going out and when you're supposed to be coming back. Okay. So that if you uh, that if you do get wet and you can't get back up, at least somebody's going to come looking for you sooner rather than later. In order to stay warm in such cold conditions, Shriner recommends bringing a shelter with you, like a portable insulated ice house, a heater, and wearing several layers of clothes. Otherwise, he says to wait for warmer for a warmer weekend if you don't have that kind of equipment. Minnesota DNR also recommends checking with local experts about ice conditions before going out and wearing a life jacket or float coat when you are on the ice. As for how cold it will be this weekend, we are now breaking records. Chief Meteorologist Nick Jansen has your latest Weather Authority forecast. Nick.